G'day and welcome to Mark and Sam After Work. Today I want to put together a video uh, that is more of an index. It's more of an index for many, many information videos um, that we have on the channel. Um, but something that gives a place or a, a point of reference where people can find them. So basically if you're looking for any of the details that I mention here or otherwise, I'm going to build a comprehensive um, index below here with links to videos so you can go through and find things and make things a little bit, a little bit easier to find. And I suppose I'll give a basic overview to go through and give points to that index. Um, what I have in front of us, this is just a little ticker, 223, so it's the ticker TAC A1 in a 223. It's modified it with a different buttstock, a different biopod system, it's got a different barrel, it's got things in it from the adjustable um, elevation scope base in the air attack, it's the type of scope, pretty much all over the rifle has got the witness marks of the fact it's something I've set up. I do that for a specific reason. I go through and set things up to make them shoot better. It's always been something I've done. I do lot, a lot less work on load development, a lot more work on making the rifle shoot. The shooter's form, the shooter's abilities, or the shooter's learned skills, um, the way a rifle's set up, and then making ammunition consistent is where I go with things. Good bullets and all sorts of bits and pieces are very relevant, but it comes down to, I suppose, what I can really say is we've got a lot of proof in the pudding. Um, there's a lot of extreme long range shooting. There's a lot of extreme accuracy shooting. There's a lot of dealing with real conditions, understanding the, the light, understanding the weather, understanding the, the, the way the wind works. We've shot down a lot of extreme long range shots in pretty high levels of wind over undulating ground. So there is a wealth of um, experience, a uh, wealth of knowledge that I certainly have um, been attaining the whole time we've been at this. Our ELR side of things has been over a decade um, of doing that on camera to go through and you, to go back and look through the videos, you'll see a progression from both our shooting skills, the learning how to go to the extra level in the way of setting things up. Once I put the mindset into um, actually engineering things to suit the shooter and make it all work better, then that's where my evolution has come from. And you'll see from even though we started, you know, at 2,000 yards with the likes of the 3 3 Lapour and it all worked fairly easily, when you look at the way things are actually working versus how they work now, you'll see there's a marked difference in not just the result and how far we can push things and how accurate we can be at longer distances and how extremely accurate that turns into at closer distances. Um, also just the nature of how things look, how things perform. We also are a little more polished in what we do. We've learned how to work with cameras and that side of things. That's its own skill. And I suppose the other skill that I've been trying to attain or trying to do better at all the time is work out how to pass on information in a palatable form, in something that makes sense. When I talk about setting up a rival, yes, everything from the core of it, what it is and its action side of things, there's relevance to that, what it is in the, in the chassis or stock or whatever you're using there, the, how the butt pad is set up, how where your, your butt pad, your cheek riser, the back of it, the, the bag rider or not bag rider, the way that you support it, using a bag, using a free shooting or off your shoulder shooting, off hand shooting, monopod shooting, going forward, whether you're, whether you're bipod shooting, understanding a bipod and how a bipod works properly, um, whether you're shooting on a tripod, understanding how that works, differences between shooting in different positions, whether it's shooting from a rest or shooting from a bipod or it's shooting from a bench or shooting from prone or it's shooting from standing or kneeling, differences in those places, how the barrel is set up, what the barrel is, muzzle brakes, yes, just a little 223 with a muzzle brake on it, shoots better because of it and the understanding of muzzle brakes, the intense lots and lots of information to understanding of how a muzzle brake works. Um, the, 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 the scopes, different forms of scopes, different forms of elevation adders. Because we shoot extreme long range, we generally are using more internal elevation than the average scope. 
Now I have videos to go through how that much that matters in scopes and what that matters. First focal plane, second focal plane. But going into more elevation in your scope, going into levering your scope forward, so where you have scope bases like this one that's tilt forward and how far that's relevant. There's types of scopes, the likes of the March Genesis that has that system in it which tilts forward or putting on um, elevation adders. So in your, your Charlie Terax and your Night Force wedges and your things that can go up the front here. Lots of different things involved and all that sort of stuff. I've also got a little bit on the likes of triggers, the likes of um, your ammunition and how ammunition works, to how gunpowder works, to internal ballistics, to um, I don't do a lot of in the way of terminal ballistics, but understanding the nature of a bullet, understanding how it flies through the air, understanding about spin. There's lots and lots of details and lots and lots of videos there. I'd also go through, I've done a reasonable amount of shooter form of both how you grip a rifle, of how you preload a rifle, not preload a rifle. I'll generally put be, and putting forward my way of doing things in the fashion of what I do, but it'll always be in reference to that's what I do. It might not be what suits you, but the way I look at this thing and always have looked at it is the more that I can put forward the understanding of it, and then that helps you use, even if you're using a different format, if you understand what you're actually doing, then it can make it a lot easier. Anyway, that's my um, video on this one. Um, I hope you enjoy. I hope that there, the links down there do provide. If it's not for you, then it is something that you can find a video for someone else or share the whole video so they can go through and find that. Um, I think we've got some pretty valuable information in there. Of course, that's mine. Of course, I'd think that. But anyway, I think it's some pretty valuable information and just like I said, an index really to be able to find videos over, well, a whole decade. Anyway, guys, thank you for checking in. We'll catch you next time.